Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. Uh, this is going to be for your July 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What do they want from you? Okay, so we're going to take a look and see what that what they want from you and what will happen if you allow this person back into your life or if you continue moving forward with this individual. So it's someone that you're already dealing with or what is dealing with or this is someone that's coming back into your life. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. Uh, the link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. If you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. Okay, so Cancer. Tell me about the can. Uh, tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with was dealing with or coming back into cancer's life what does this person want from cancer what does this person want from cancer what does this person want from cancer for july 2023 sun moon rising venus signs for cancer what does this person want from cancer what does this person want from cancer we have the knight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo we have the king of pentacles this person wants to be hubby wifey with you yeah, this person's definitely thinking long term. This person's planning a future here with you. Um, you know, I, you could be dealing with the earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, and I just feel like this is someone here that is kind of like coming to this kind of like very calmly. You know, I feel like they're tr trying not to scare you away here, Cancer, okay? But, you know, when you, the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles does come out, this is an individual that's really serious about, you know, having a future here with you. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, okay? We have the Tower, Aries Scorpio energy here. This is really interesting because I feel like everything is about to change here. This person is so confident about being able to make things happen here with you. I feel like that Tarot moment, it's more so a change, a transformation here. Let's say if you guys have been in this, in this like friend zone thing, kind of dating around, nothing serious. I feel like this person wants to take things to the next level here, okay? Sort of like building this like very strong, solid foundation here with you. Aries, Scorpio, energy with the tower. We have the Ten of Wands here and the Ten of Swords. Interesting. I feel like more so this is just the chapter of you guys getting to know each other, dating around here, that, that's coming to an end here. Like I said, I feel like you guys are taking things to the next level here, Cancer. Lovers, Gemini energy, the King of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Swords. What is going on? I do feel like even though this, per this person wants this, this person does have a lot of underlying issues here. Uh, I do feel like this person deals with stress, anxiety, depression here. I do feel like it's going to come out in a way where it almost feels like this person is like sabotaging the connection here because I do feel like this person is definitely going through a lot or that, you know, all this is going on. They're pretending like, you know, nothing's going on here. The Nine of Pentacles, the uh, Six of Wands here, the Knight of Swords and the Tower, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, if this person's going through a mental health issue, obviously it's not their fault, but I feel like it's almost like you're trying to avoid this individual or that this person's too much for you. Yeah, I do feel like it's important not to ghost this person. It's important to tell this person, hey, you know what? This is making me feel a certain way. I just need to like put a pause button or try and recalibrate or something like that uh, because I feel like this person's almost like this person's freaking out. Yeah, this person's freaking out here. The Ten of Wands here, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Ten of Swords in the World. Oh my. I, I feel like this is more so. You, you might be highly considering breaking up with this individual because I feel like you don't have the tools or 
the maybe the emotional or the mental capacity to handle this. Yeah. You're having a hard time handling this, Cancer. But this is a strong soulmate connection here. Um, it seems like f maybe for a while things were going really well. And I feel like over time this started coming up to the surface here. And as things started to get, become more serious, I think this the stuff was coming up more and more and more and more and more and more and more. Uh, what will happen if Cancer continue moving forward or uh, allow this person back into your life for July 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Queen of Wands, okay? Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. I, I, I mean, someone here is definitely disengaging and disconnecting from this. I, I feel like with the Seven of Cups, it's almost like staying in the situation here for you, Cancer. I feel like you're almost like losing your mind here. Yeah, I, I just feel like for your own sake, for your own mental health, for your own protection, I see you actually leaving this here. Yeah, I, ju I just feel like you're you're tired. Yeah, you're tired. Uh, perhaps because this person is going through all this, you know, you're you might be doing all the work here. This is a very strong soul connection. I feel like there's a lesson for you to learn in this too. Seems like this could be like a karmic situation here. Yeah, yeah, I, I see. It's starting to look more more and more like a karmic. So I feel like you're trying to step away from this. It's just too much. Here, here, here's the kicker here. I'm getting a past life scenario. I'm getting a past life vision here regarding the situation. At some point in the past life, someone here was someone's therapist. Yeah. And it's almost like you guys reincarnated in this lifetime, basically picking up where you guys left off in the past life here. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Libra energy. Ten of Pentacles here. You know, here's the thing. If someone here gets a handle on this, you know, if this person gets a handle on this, I do feel like it could turn into something more. It could turn into something really great. Yeah. Uh, it could learn, It could lead to marriage here. Uh, it could lead to commitment. But someone here has to work on their mental health here. The Nine of Wands here and the Moon. I feel like you've been trying to help this person. Perhaps if you were the therapist here, you, uh, these, this innate gift or this innate ability is coming up. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Four of Wands here, and the Three of Wands. This is going to be rocky, but if this person chooses to take care of this, this can be perfect. Yeah, this could be perfect. Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands here. Okay, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.